Hey, are you thinking about moving to Henderson here in Nevada and maybe you're looking for some more reasons that are going to convince you it's the absolute best decision you can make? Stick around for this video. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the pros of living in Henderson. I live in Henderson myself, so these are just some of the things that I come about on a daily basis. lived in Henderson now for four years and when I think of Henderson and I'm talking to people about Henderson, these are some of the great reasons why I think it's one of the best places to live. And we're going to start right now. The first one is, and you know, Henderson is a city. Let's just uh, get that out of the way first. A lot of people compare Henderson and Summerlin. Summerlin is a master planned community in the sort of west area of Las Vegas. And then Henderson is a city in itself, has its own police department, fire department, its own uh governance and things like that as well so henderson is a city and one of the big pros for me about henderson is there's just so many fantastic communities within henderson no matter what you're looking for whether you're looking for upscale whether you're looking for a community that has a good community spirit a good community vibe maybe you want to be connected and really close to local stores and maybe walking distance a very walkable community Maybe you want to be in one of the homes that has larger lot sizes, maybe a slightly older home, but you know it's going to be sitting on a bigger lot, more breathing space between you and your neighbor. Henderson really has it all. It just depends on what sort of neighborhoods are going to be important to you. And those are some of the reasons why you should reach out on the contact details below and say, Pila, this is what's important. I'm looking for ABC in a community. And I can definitely pinpoint some communities to start you off and, and you know, have a basis of comparison with just to go through some of those great communities in Henderson off the top of my head we have obviously we have Inspirada where I'm living at the moment and some of you know I've been on a journey to move here from Green Valley for a while Inspirada for me uh, it's probably the best community in the whole of the Las Vegas area I can't talk about it enough I it's really really a fantastic place to live and now that we're living here we've been here for about five or six weeks now we just fall in love with it even more every single day it's got a really good community spirit lots of things that go on in the community there's a six parks now i believe within the community three or four pools that are heated uh throughout the year events like farmer's market movie under the stars they had a uh, just before the kids went back to school recently uh, they had wonka was the film that they were watching in uh Solista park and then obviously the farmer's market, there's yoga events that go on. They have different events that go on for Halloween and the holiday season as well. And it's just when I think of what I would want personally from a community, and not everybody's the same, but when I think what I want personally from a community, I want something that has a really good community spirit. And for me, Inspirada definitely tops that. And then we're, look, we're lucky that we've got really good neighbors, really good schools in this community. Everything that we wanted that was on our little checkbox and it's all in Inspirada so Inspirada is a fantastic community in Henderson Anthem you know Anthem can be a bit more upscale especially Anthem Country Club uh, and right next to Anthem Country Club you really have Madeira Canyon which again guard gated and very secure our parts of it are guard gated parts of it are gated really peaceful tucked away in the mountains Anthem itself has got a few different communities you've got Coventry at Anthem you've got Anthem Highlands you got two 55 plus communities, so you've got uh, Solera at Anthem and Sun City Anthem. Both of them have, obviously, age restrictions. Solera, price point is a little bit less, but you're going to have less amenities. Sun City is one of the most popular 55 plus communities. There's a few of them dotted around the valley. And Anthem is really, you know, when you're in Anthem, you know, you go past those waterfalls that welcome you to Anthem, and it's just a really gorgeous community well looked after again you know people are mostly friendly in the anthem area and if you're going to be living in anthem country club uh, the other side of those guard gates then you're going to be moving there for the lifestyle you know you've got some good golf courses there and it's just as i said it's just a real upscale community some people feel both inspirada and anthem are too far away from everything but you know i'd say that's not true from anthem you can go down eastern avenue and you've got loads of stores you got stores at Anthem Highlands as well. And really, you're not that far away from the likes of Green Valley. So Anthem is another great community. you got Seven Hills as well, which is another fantastic community. 
Seven Hills is built around the Rio Seco golf course, which is a gorgeous golf course uh, to go and play, some amazing views. I personally think Seven Hills are some of the best sunsets. We get really gorgeous sunsets in the Henderson area, but I think Seven Hills has them at the, the best when you can see the sun coming down from the Seven Hills area. Really good parks in Seven Hills. We've got a few friends who live in, live in Seven Hills and we've been to a few parties with them as well in their parks. Really well looked after. Always soccer games going on at the weekends as well. Again, both Anthem and Seven Hills are going to be zoned for really good schools. So if schooling is important to you, then definitely going to be some really good homes to look at within Seven Hills and Anthem. Seven Hills, a lot of it uh, has these like when you're going into the, the roads sort of streets off the main road, they've got these really gorgeous white columns that make me think of Europe and the European style different types of home styles as well in Seven Hills. You can have a nice single family home around the average price point of around 500,000 or there's up on the mountains, maybe around the golf course as well. There's some really nice custom homes and custom lots as well, multi-million dollar homes. So depending on what you're looking for, those options are going to be there in Seven Hills and it is a gorgeous community. It's obviously named after the Seven Hills of Rome. Uh, that's why it's got a Mediterranean influence and it's just, it is very hilly. So if you're the type that likes to go walking or walking your dog and you don't want it to just be straight, flat, Seven Hills offers that as well. And it's a, definitely a peaceful place to go and walk. I love Seven Hills as well, I have to say. We've got Green Valley, which is separated into Green Valley Ranch, Green Valley South, Green Valley North. Green Valley North being the oldest and one of the oldest master plan communities in the whole of Southern Nevada. And then Green Valley Ranch, that's where the district is. Most of the homes at Green Valley Ranch are going to be walkable to the district, which is Fantastic, Green Valley South then sort of leads into McDonald's Highlands and McDonald Ranch as well, which are another two great communities. McDonald's uh, Ranch is fantastic. Some really good homes there, some really gorgeous homes there. Again, built around a golf course, so some really great golf course uh, homes, uh, homes on the golf course there for you as well. Then after Green Valley, we've got Cadence, which is similar to Inspirada. Uh, Cadence has a really gorgeous park, you know, a 50 acre park with free Wi-Fi. You know, there's some criticisms on Cadence and its toxic past. For me, it's not a, a huge deal, but everyone has the, their own opinion and I respect everyone's opinion. Uh, I personally don't think the builders would have invested as much money as they have because that's an easy lawsuit. All the information I've read is, you know, it says that it's all been cleaned up and, you know, I, I believe what I'm reading from official documents but I know other people uh, will have different thoughts and that's completely okay but Cadence is a really great area still expanding still growing still lots of opportunities in Cadence very close to Galleria Mall Henderson Hospital uh, the Carabunga Bay Water Park so you're in a really good location for convenience and then we've also got Lake Las Vegas which is actually part of Henderson as well even though it is called Lake Las Vegas and that is a lifestyle community it's obviously a man-made lake Really gorgeous Mediterranean influence homes there as well. A lot of uh, gated communities, if that's what you're looking for. There's still new construction from various builders, from Toll Brothers to Taylor Morrison to Century. Uh, so depending on what budget you're looking at and what type of homes, then absolutely could find a nice home in Lake Las Vegas. For some people, it's a little bit too further away. Um, but some people, they don't mind that. And it is definitely a lifestyle community. You know, everyone's out on their golf carts and uh, just getting around the community. And it has another good vibe about it. Uh, one of my criticisms is the village where all the shops are. Uh, you know, there's quite a lot of businesses that have moved out and haven't been replaced. So a lot of closed down businesses. I'd love to see it more vibrant and more happening. But, you know, we love going to see the fireworks on 4th of July. Great seeing them glisten off the, off the lake and off the water. Um, so definitely I think you can check out any of those communities and they're going to give you different feels for what you're looking for. If you want more information, I'm going to do an updated version of my uh, best communities to live in the Henderson area. And I'll go into a bit more detail, although I've gotten into probably a bit of detail there than probably most people would on this type of video. Um, and apologies for that. Thank you for sticking with me though. But I'm going to go into more detail uh, on that so definitely stick around on my channel and probably in the next two to three weeks I'll have an updated one on the best communities but I think going back to my original point I think the various array of options for communities in Henderson is a really big pro 
and definitely one of the things I enjoy. Another thing that was very important to me when I was looking at moving here and I was very adamant after all of my research online, everything that I had read because there wasn't really any YouTube content about it at that time, everything I read was pointing at Henderson being classed as a really safe city, whether that's if I was looking at the crime stats from the Henderson Police Department, whether that's actual reviews that have, you know, there's a few different journals that uh, have rated it differently depending on what way they slice the stats. But whatever way you slice it, Henderson always comes out as normally the second or third safest, largest city in the whole of the US. And that's why for me, it was a big deal moving to Henderson because raising up a family, I've got five children right now, they ages are from 11 to three. So having that, I wanted to make sure I was doing my best to keep them safe. And I had an opinion of Vegas before I moved over. And I was very adamant that if I was at that time, if I was going to be moving to the Southern Nevada area, I would personally prefer to live in Henderson because all of the data that I was looking at was showing me that it is a real safe city. Yes, there is going to be crime. There's crime everywhere. Even in a really small city, there's still a risk of crime where everybody knows their neighbors. There's still a risk of crime anywhere, nowhere. I don't think anyone watching these videos can tell me anywhere in the US what's, what will be crime free. Uh, and Henderson as a large city is no different. And it's very important to emphasize a large city because Henderson is the second largest city in Southern Nevada. And it is obviously second to Las Vegas, borders Las Vegas. So it has all the opportunity for crime, but it's still rate ranked as one of the safest largest cities in the whole of the US. Now, there are some reasons for that. Obviously, it's its own city, so it does have its own police department, fire department, so they're not sharing resources, which means their response times are quicker. A lot of the communities have a real good neighborhood watch community going on, so that also helps keep crime down. I've noticed here in Inspirada, the neighbors are all looking out for each other, so any sign of anything, whether it's, uh, you know, at the moment, there's a spate of, uh, not, just, not just here in Henderson, but everywhere, people stealing Amazon parcels. So you always see on your, your Ring app and people updating people and not necessarily Inspirada, although there has been a few in Inspirada, but even the neighboring communities of you know what people to look out for, what car, maybe what their, their plate numbers are so you can keep an eye on them as well. I know the patrol team here in Inspirada actually caught them and uh, they got apprehended and they've obviously been uh, taken away now. So that's really good. and. Be part of an active community like that is definitely going to keep crime down. And being a parent, for me, it was very important to have somewhere that's safe. So one of the things I always hear when you guys reach out is that we want to, we want to be in a safe community. You know, safety for a lot of people is always amongst the first things that come out. So if that really is important, genuinely, I definitely think you should look at Henderson. The next pro of living in Henderson, and again, this was super important to me. I've, this is my channel. I'm going to speak about mostly the things that are important to me as a as a parent, of, you know, young family. Uh, I'm going to speak mostly about those because that's what my experience is with. And one of the other things that was very important was schooling. And I had to do again a lot of research when I was in the process of moving here. It was during COVID. I was furloughed. I had an enormous amount of free time uh, to look up things and to research things. I was sending links over to my wife at the time and. She was looking at all this other stuff that I was sending her as well. And one of the other things that came apparent to me is that, yes, the Clark County School District is, well, let's, just, let's just call a spade a spade. It is one of the worst school districts in the country. It's always ranked among the top two to three. There's no getting away from that. The, the stats show that. The stats also show that it's the fifth largest school district, though, and it has an enormous amount of students amount of schools and obviously some of those bad schools which are not mostly in henderson are going to bring down the average i think if you had separate school districts for the likes of henderson the likes of summerlin the likes of boulder city i would be pretty confident that they would rank quite highly across the country but because there's an enormous amount of schools the average is always going to be brought down by the the negative ones unfortunately Going back to Henderson, the, what uh, I would say if, if you are looking at schooling, and I, I'm happy to have these conversations with you offline uh, because I know from my side how important it actually was and how much research I actually did. 
Um, I looked at greatschools.org, I looked at niche.com, and then when I could see the names of the good schools, then I also looked at those individual school websites to get an, a good feel for the school. And then I looked at the Clark County School District and tried to get an idea of zoning. So I'd put in addresses that look like they're near the school and see how far the zone goes out as well. And have a look on the Clark County School District website and, and look at the zoning for the schools. And the zonings are always changing. As communities are getting bigger, the zones are always changing. But it's definitely important to do that research. I had someone move over here last year and he had done an enormous amount of research on the schools to the point of he knew exactly what schools that he wanted his kids to be in. And then we were able to just concentrate on that and make sure that we were setting them up, not just for elementary, but elementary, middle and high school. Some of the really good schools in the Henderson area, and I'm going to miss some because I haven't wrote them down. I'm just doing it off the top of my head. So don't come shouting at me in the comments if I've missed one of the good schools in Henderson because it's just literally from the top of my head. But you have Nate Mack Elementary, you have Vandenberg, you have Greenspun Middle School, you have Green Valley High School, Coronado High School, you have Wallen Elementary, Ellis Elementary, uh, Liberty High School is probably not fantastic compared to some of the other high schools but it's still a good high school really good sports program a really good musical program there's dal webb middle school which is one of the best middle schools in the whole of the the las vegas and henderson area in my opinion and then there's also some really good charter schools there's pinecrest and there's coral and there's some of those dotted around the henderson area whether that's inspirada whether that's Cadence, whether that's towards Green Valley, there's a coral down by Windmill. So I would say have a look at schooling. And I know that I'm going to have missed some schools. And if I have missed some schools in Henderson, I apologize. When I'm talking about it again in the communities video that I'm going to do, then I'll obviously be able to mention the schools that are going to be zoned for those communities. And then I'll cover it again in more detail. But just from a top level point of view, the schools in Henderson but they do rank really well, there's no denying that. Another pro to living in Henderson is the vast array of shopping and dining. We obviously have the Galleria Mall, which is the, one of the largest, if not largest, indoor shopping mall in the whole of the Southern Nevada area. Really good shopping mall. I used to actually work there as a store manager in the Starbucks in that mall. Uh, amazing people that I worked with at the time, really good. Uh, really good Starbucks but also the people that used to work in the mall were really good as well and it had some really good stores obviously there's a Dillard's there's a Macy's JC Penney and then loads of other little stores as well they do lots of cool events during Halloween and holidays and and the school holidays in the summer as well so that's a really good mall with a lot of shopping and dining options there alone and then away from that all the way down Stephanie and Sunset so if you're going from Galleria Mall you're going to be basically on Stephanie and Sunset. Across those, there's so many different stores, whether that's your normal big box stores, your Targets, your Lowe's, your uh, Costco is actually there on Mark Street, your Walmart and other grocery stores. There's a Winko as well in Henderson, which is a, a great grocery store. If you're not familiar with Winko, it's a, a really good store to go to and their prices are actually quite reasonable for the majority of things we get a lot of produce there actually between there and uh, some farm from uh, California that we get a, a box every couple of weeks from that's where we get most of our produce from and some of our, our other stuff as well if we're not in Costco though we, we really love Costco we're big Costco shoppers in our family so we do spend a lot of time in Costco but when we're not in Costco we do go to Winco a lot which is great that there's one in Henderson you got the district at Green Valley Ranch as well which obviously you got the Green Valley Ranch Casino but then there's the district, which is a great outdoor shopping area. Again, loads of different stops, uh, shops, sorry, not stops, loads of different shops there, uh, loads of different restaurants as well. It's split across two sides. So on one side, you have Whole Foods is there, Cheesecake Factory is there, and a few other stores. And then uh, actually one of my favorite breakfast places, the Cracked Egg is there. And then on the other side, you got P.F. Chang's, you got a couple of bars, uh, a nice little sandwich place, and then... Uh, you got Sephora, you got Pottery Barn, uh, you got a few other stores as well. So the district is also amazing. And then as you get further into Henderson, closer to where we're living, or also closer to the Anthem area, 
all the way down uh, St. Rose Parkway, there's another Costco, that's my local Costco. There's a whole array of stores and dining options there as well. And then down Eastern, which sort of basically goes from Anthem all the way down, and that street would go all the way down into Las Vegas past the airport, but I wouldn't say go that far down. But all the way on Eastern again, your big box stores and different shopping and dining options are gonna be there as well. So wherever you're living in Henderson, I don't really think more than a 10, 15 minute drive to get to the majority of stores. The only caveat to that is maybe Lake Las Vegas is gonna take a little bit longer. It does have its own little uh, village and it has like its little grocery store, but to get back into the main part of Henderson could probably take 20 to 30 minutes to get to the majority of the stores that I've just mentioned. So I think even for date nights, Henderson is, is really nice. There's a, a huge amount of options to go and check out. I mean, I, I'd be here. I, could, I might actually just do a different video just talking about shopping and dining in Henderson because there's just so many great options that we find ourselves going out of Henderson less and less and less. Uh, it's becoming, I always say it about Summerlin, it's like a Summerlin bubble. Henderson's becoming the same thing now, really, that there's just so many things here to enjoy that we probably didn't appreciate maybe at the beginning, but now that we are uh, more settled after a few years, there's just so much here to enjoy in terms of shopping and dining. So I think for me, that's another really good pro of living in Henderson. Another pro for me for living in Henderson is the outdoor recreation. My gosh, obviously we have really good weather, maybe two months in the summer, it's maybe a little bit too hot. But the majority of the year, we have really good temperatures. At the time of filming this, at the end of August, I'm filming this on a Wednesday. I'm probably going to post it on Saturday. The day after I post it, on the Sunday, our temperatures are going to be around 90 degrees, which is going to be gorgeous. Obviously, coming into a holiday weekend as well, we've been Labor Day. It's going to be really nice temperatures to be able to go out and enjoy things outside. And the majority of the year, it actually is really nice to be outside in the Henderson area. Average temperatures across the year are around about 80 degrees. On average, just over 300 days of sunshine. So that gives you the ability to be outside. You don't have to worry about freezing cold temperatures all the time. You don't have to worry about rain and being out in the rain. It really is a great city to live in if you like being outdoors, if you like outdoor recreation. There's a phenomenal amount of parks in the Henderson area. More parks are being added all the time, and a lot of those that are looked after by the city of Henderson, the parks and recreation centers, they are really doing a good job of trying to keep them really well upkept. Obviously, wear and tear is gonna happen, but they do a really good job of trying to look after those parks. Inspirada alone has six different parks. Cadence has their huge park, then they have a couple of little community parks and a new sports park that's gonna be built as well. All throughout the, the area of Henderson, there's loads of different parks and many of those are connected by walking trails as well. So quite often, you know, when we lived in Green Valley, there was a really nice uh, Pittman Wash walking trail that was really nice to just walk through. And that also interlinks some of the parks as well, like Silver Springs Park, Paseo Verde Park as well, and some of the other parks. And it's really easy if you like to be on your bike, if you like to walk, if you've got dogs, my brother-in-law, when he comes down from Canada, one of the things he loves doing is just going out walking. And he, he loves it because majority of the year, it's just a, a good place to go walking with the temperatures. Majority of people in Henderson, in my opinion, are actually really friendly. So quite often when you're on those little walks, you know, people will say hello to you. Um, and it's a good, you know, good energy about the place as well. So if you do like outdoor recreation, then it's going to definitely work for you. There's also obviously many splash pads and playgrounds. There's the water park at Carabunga Bay, so even more outdoor recreation. You can go to Lake Las Vegas in Henderson and enjoy some things on the lake as well, some plenty of activities on the lake. Lake Mead is not too far away when you are in Henderson compared to other parts of Las Vegas. And that's gonna be easy to go and enjoy some of the things on Lake Mead now that the water levels are not dropping dramatically like they were. To get to Red Rock uh, Conservation Area isn't gonna be too far if you wanna go hiking. But then there's also plenty of great hikes within the Henderson area. We've got the Black Mountain Range as well. We've got Sloan Canyon. 
So definitely great hiking opportunities in Henderson. And then if you really wanted to drive up to Mount Charleston, that is probably going to be about a 40 minute drive. I'm just going to throw it in there because it's probably when it does snow in the winter, that's going to be the best place uh, between there and Lee Canyon to maybe get your snow fix because we don't really get snow that sticks in Henderson. Uh, but all in all, um, I, I hope that gives you a good idea of the outdoor recreation. But there really is so much outdoors too that we love it. It's one of the things that we enjoy as a family because our kids have endless amounts of energy, as I'm sure many parents can relate to. So being able to take them outside and try and burn off some of that energy, it's definitely really good. Just during the summer, it's a little bit harder. We've still been out in the parks during the summer, but we tend to go in the evening, like 7 to 8 p.m., it's a bit cooler obviously there's floodlights as it gets dark but then you can still enjoy it as well and being honest even at that time there's plenty of families in the parks as well so outdoor recreation for me is another good thing about living in henderson and another thing about living in henderson that i think i have to mention as a pro although i'm sure majority of people are already aware of it is no state income tax i mean i definitely appreciate that in tax season we get taxed enough from a federal level, so not having any extra at a state level is fantastic. It's brought a lot of people in from other states where you guys are paying ridiculous amounts on your state income tax. And some people have actually been able to keep their job and their income at the same level. And obviously then they're saving money because of the non-state income tax. I've also had people that have actually relocated and took a job opportunity in the Henderson area. And it might have been a lower salary, but they've actually ended out on top because they're not paying as much in taxes. Our property taxes are not so high here as well. So if you're looking and, and fed up of your tax situation, I think you should look at Henderson. We're definitely a very tax friendly city. We're very uh, business friendly as well. So if you're an entrepreneur and you want to set up a business, I think Henderson is really good for that as well a massive amount of growth that's coming to the city on a commercial level. So if you are looking to maybe start up a business, I think Henderson is a great place for that as well. And as I said, from a tax point of view, we're very tax friendly. Only our sales tax is quite high. And that's where a lot of our, our taxes come from. You know, the casinos get quite a lot of, uh, generate quite a lot of taxes from that. I think we're around 8.8%, but the rest of our taxes I think are very reasonable. And definitely no state income tax is a huge win. I've left it to the end because I'm sure everybody is already aware of that. But it is definitely a big thing about living in Henderson is not having to worry about. So there, that's it. That is all of my pros for living in Henderson. As I said, guys, that's it. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and tap on the bell for notifications. And you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So if you're enjoying my content, then definitely do those things and you'll be notified as soon as I post a new video. Thank you for everyone who's been on this journey with me. I appreciate each and every one of you who always watch my videos and the feedback I get from you, you know, gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. So I, from my heart, I, I appreciate it 100%. If you are thinking about moving to the Las Vegas or Henderson area, please get in touch. All my details are there on the screen. Just take a screenshot save them in your phone and then reach out however you're comfortable whenever you're ready and i really would love nothing more than to help you with relocating and representing you on buying a home here in the henderson or las vegas area and then drop me a comment below and let me know what's the biggest pro for you even if it isn't one that i've mentioned maybe what's the biggest pro for you about potentially living in henderson but until the next time thank you so much for watching you take care